Hey guys, this is Michelle from Virtual Hand Care and in this video, follow along with me as we do a gentle exercise routine after an elbow fracture. Hopefully your cast is off, you have approval from your doctor to start moving that elbow. So in this video, we're gonna do exercises for our fingers, for the wrist, for our forearm, elbow, and shoulder. The only equipment you're gonna need for this video is a towel and also grab yourself a pillow for comfort. But real quick, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Also leave some comments below. Let me know how these felt for you. And if you have any kinds of questions, I'll do my best to help. So to start, what we're going to do is just start with some simple active range of motion exercises. So of course, I don't have anything wrong with my elbow, but I'm going to go nice and slow and gentle. You always just wanna go at your own pace. First, we wanna start going into elbow flexion because that's a motion that we really wanna get started on first so we can at least start to try to feed ourselves or maybe brush our teeth. We use elbow flexion more for function than we do for elbow extension. So let's start with that flexion. So we're gonna start in a nice neutral position and what we're simply going to just try to do is actively try to bring our hand towards our shoulder as far as you can go. And then we're gonna slowly come back down, really not working on extension yet. So just go down to what's comfortable. And we're gonna come back up into elbow flexion and come back down. And so let's go ahead and do 10 of these together. Ready? Coming up. Hold a couple of seconds and back down just to what you can go to. We're not really working on elbow extension yet, just flexion. And back up, two, three, four, and five and come back down. Now for these next five, we're gonna go ahead and use our other hand to just apply a little bit of assistance. So we can try to go up a little farther into flexion. So bring your hand down to wherever is comfortable for you. Just stay away from the wrist, come down more onto the forearm. And we're gonna go ahead and apply a little bit of pressure up as far as you can go. We're gonna hold this a few seconds and then release your hand and let your hand come back down on its own. Take that hand again, a little bit of pressure coming up, holding a couple of seconds, really trying to go towards that shoulder. And release the hand and back down, that's two. And again. Three, that's four, one more. This last one, really try to get a little bit more, maybe go a little farther than what you could do, but still keep that pain level around a, a two or a three, no more than that. Relax your fingers if you feel like you're on guard here, relax those fingers. That last one we held for quite a few seconds, good job. And then go ahead and relax back down. Good, now what we're gonna do, let's go into supination. So that is that palm up position. So again, supination also is very important to get when we want to try to feed ourselves, wash our face, wash our hair. So let's work on that. So we're gonna go again into active supination. So we're gonna try to turn that palm up as far as you can go. Elbow is, is nice and tucked at your side so that you're not kind of cheating. You wanna make sure that elbow's not in the center of our belly here. We wanna make sure it's at our side, turning that palm up as far as you can go. Relaxing those fingers, making sure you're not straining at all in the hand or fingers. 
And then coming back to neutral. We're just, we're not gonna work on pronation yet. So back up into active supination. Hold a few seconds and back up. That's two. And up. That's three. Just coming back to neutral. Back up and go as far as you can. If you can only go to here and it's a tiny movement, that's okay, that's your starting point. And back up, that's four. And we're gonna do one more active and then we'll go into that stretching. and really try to contract those muscles. You might be feeling it everywhere. Relax the neck and shoulder though. Make sure you're not using everything to try to do that movement. And back to neutral, good. So go ahead and just relax for a moment here. Now we're gonna use our other hand to help stretch. So the remaining five repetitions, your other hand is gonna actually come to the elbow or mid forearm. Just place your hand wherever is comfortable for you. I don't want you torquing on the wrist though. So stay on the long bones here of the forearm. Okay, elbow tucked at your side again. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna come up underneath and you're gonna use your other hand to gently try to go a little farther into supination than what you could do actively. Put a little bit of overpressure and stretch. Hold a couple of seconds. Now keep it there, release your hand, and then come back to neutral. That's one. Okay, let's go and do that again. Using your other hand to push up into supination, rotating those bones, palm up holding a couple of seconds, release your hand, and back up to neutral. And again, trying to stretch up and palm up, hold, then release and hold, and back up, that's four and stretch and release and hold and good and that's five good job okay now let's go into elbow extension or straightening to do this i always like to prop that elbow up on a table a pillow whatever's comfortable for you. But we wanna use those pillows as a little counter pressure and let gravity help try to stretch the elbow out. It's a little more comfortable that way. Plus it helps us not use the shoulder, which often if we do it down like this, our shoulder is often moving back instead of our elbow. So go ahead and prop that elbow up onto your pillows. Thumb is gonna be facing you. If you want, you can just kind of let that arm hang whichever way is comfortable for you. So now what you're gonna do is we're gonna actively try to contract the triceps to try to push the elbow straight. So you're gonna try to contract and push, push. Try to go as straight as you can. Hold a couple of seconds. And then back up. That's one, and again, go down, try to push down, straight, 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 as far as you can go. Hold it a couple of seconds, and back up. And you don't need to go all the way up into flexion. We're just working on extension. Try to straighten. And back up, that's three. And straighten. You might feel a little tightness. You can even do a little massage just to try to relax that tight bicep. 
and back up. That's four. And one more active extension going down as far as you can go. Really try to straight, straight, straighten that elbow. And good, that's five. Now, for the remaining five, we're gonna give a little assistance using our other hand. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab a hold of that forearm, relax the shoulder down, and now we're gonna try to pull and kind of push down at the same time, trying to get that elbow as straight as we can. Hold a couple of seconds where you start feeling that stretch, but again, just keep it around a two or a three out of 10 pain level, not too much. Now release your hand, try to hold it there if you can. Try not to let it bounce up. And then actively bring your elbow back up. That's one. And push, 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 stretch. Try to hold there. And back up, that's two and push and release try to hold really let gravity try to stretch that out too that's three Good, that's four. Let's do one more of these stretches. Push, hold, really try to go as far as you can go. Hold it, hold it, relax that shoulder. And back up, good. Okay, so now we are going to work on pronation or that palm down position. So again, we're gonna relax those shoulders, relax the elbow, elbow's gonna stay at your side, and we're gonna just do five active pronation exercises. So that's where we work on trying to lay the hand flat, keep the elbow at your side. You can do both hands at the same time if that helps. Holding a few seconds and then back up to neutral. That's one. That's two. Three. Four. And five. Relaxing the fingers, making sure the fingers aren't trying to help or strain. Good. Now we're gonna go ahead and use our other hand to help that. You can place your hand this way or you can come up on top. I do like this way because you could use your palm. However, it really depends on how much mobility you have to start as far as what feels comfortable for you. So go ahead and relax that arm, take your other hand, and we're going to work on pushing down into pronation. Hold a couple of seconds, relax those fingers and then release your hand and back to neutral. That's one. Okay, other hand, stretch, palm down. Hold a few seconds. Then hold a few seconds actively and back to neutral. That's two. Release. Good, that's three. Making sure elbow's still at your side, shoulders relaxed. That's 
That's four. And one more. And that's five. Good job. Okay, for these last two exercises, grab yourself a towel, maybe put yourself by a table. So go ahead and take that towel and you're gonna go ahead and open that towel up as much as you can. And as you can see, we're working on a little bit of pronation to do this and a little bit of finger work here too. Now what we wanna do is we're gonna go ahead and roll the towel up. So we're gonna work on a little bit of finger motion. You can do both hands at the same time or you can just do the one hand if you want to. Now, if this is kind of awkward for you, you might have to move yourself a little bit because this does require quite a bit of pronation. So go ahead and just roll it and go ahead and pick that up. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and wring that towel out. And so we're gonna get a little bit of wrist and a little bit of finger movement as well as forearm movement here, right? Because we're in pronation, we're doing some wrist extension, wrist flexion, fingers are also curled. So this is a little combined movement. Now, if this is easy for you, you can go ahead and try to really twist that towel to give yourself a little bit of resistance there. We're gonna do a few of these. One, two, three, four, five. Now what I want you to do is to try to extend your elbow out a little bit farther if you can. So now, as you can see, we're working on a little bit of extension with pronation, with wrist and with hand. If this is too much for you, then just bring that elbow down at your side. If you can't quite go out straight in front of you, you can bring the arms down in front of you and try to extend the elbow that way. You can also try to prop that elbow up and see if doing it that way feels a little bit better for you. Whatever is comfortable. And so then again, you're wanting to do a couple of movements here. One, two, slowly trying to go in more extension and if you can, three, four, and five. Good, now go ahead and bring that arm down. Just kind of push that towel off to the side. You are finished. I hope everything feels a little bit more loose for you. You just did about five to 10 repetitions of everything. You can go ahead and save this exercise video and repeat these exercises a couple of times a day until you get the mobility that you're looking for or until these get too easy and then you need to advance these exercises. I do have more elbow and wrist and hand exercises that I will link here, so do check those out if you are craving more movement and you are still needing to work through that stiffness. Now, if you found this video helpful, do please give it a like and don't forget to hit that subscribe button below. Thanks for watching.